Steph, I saw you nodding your head there when you talked about dying in the ring. Something that you agree with that mentality of leave it there and if you die, so be it? Well, yeah, fighting's scary and, and brings up a lot of insecurities. To get yourself mentally ready for a fight, you, you got to be ready to die in there. You're going to give it everything you have. No matter what he hits me with, I'm not stopping. I'm going to keep coming and coming. And, I mean, he's right on. That's the right mindset to have. And, and if you do die in there, that's an honor. Well, that's really the fighter's mentality, and that's why you need to think outside the box. You, you have to realize that any ride is going to end. So when I started my career, I said, when I leave, I want people to want me to continue fighting. I didn't want it to be to the point where people were saying, wow, he had a great career, and then the end of it, he just lost it. Well, next time, Dan Merliata, Herb Dean, uh, Josh Rosenthal, stop a fight too early before you start screaming and yelling about it was an early stoppage, think about that story right there. Well, it's hard with fighters, you know, we got a lot of pride and no one wants to hear that, you know, oh, you should hang it up, oh, you're getting punch drunk, things like that. Like, uh, it's going to take a lot of convincing, like, but when it gets to the point where, you know, you're writing your ease backwards, you don't re remember what you had for breakfast, then it's time to stop. That's why I always have the same thing for breakfast. That's everyone. not a That's bad idea. Thinking. It's an interesting take, though, I have to say, because well, I think all fight fans respect what you guys both just said. It's a warped way to look at it, that if you die in the ring, at least you died with honor. That's what makes you guys special and different.